Hey, this is Jason Kincaid for TechCrunch TV, and I am here with Peter Chotti, who is the CEO and president of Sorensen Media. And thanks for joining us today, Peter. Happy um, to be here. Thanks. So first off, it'd probably be helpful if you give us sort of a, a basic overview of, of what Sorensen does, because sure. I know you're a big company with some really big clients, but people who read TechCrunch may not be super familiar with you. So sure. can you just cut some background? Absolutely. So we are a video solutions company that differentiates ourselves with encoding. So we think of us as a transcoding specialist. We provide the largest portfolio of transcoding and coding solutions. Some of those are products like Squeeze. We're best known for Sorensen Squeeze, the desktop application. Also compression technology with Spark. But what's really exciting is the fact that we're innovating in the cloud. So we have server um, tra transcoding solutions that are both on-prem but now in the cloud for high volume enterprise transcoding. And we can do hybrid models. So that you take your on-prem and for all the um, overflow or excess capacity, we can take that into the cloud. And so can you tell us a little bit about how you differ from, I know we were speaking earlier about how there are some other services that are trying to offer cloud-based video conversion and, and optimization. Mm -hmm. How do you differ from them? We're really enterprise focused. Okay. Um, there are a number of other companies that service small to medium businesses, uh, very good companies innovating in their own way but we don't see them as being competitors at all. So when we look at the enterprise opportunity and the needs of the enterprise, none of these are off the shelf opportunities because they need to be customized particularly for that enterprise. Mm -hmm. And that is something that we can do and others can't do because of just the, the expertise we built up over a number of years. And and it, is it a matter of, of infrastructure or the software you guys are using that, that makes you best suited for these enterprise solutions? Or Combination of things, we're API driven. So we've built up a number of components that we can then piece together with the ex expertise that we have. So as an example, we have as part of our overall solution set um, an online video platform known as Sorensen 360. Now we don't consider ourselves to be an OVP, but that comes into play into OVP, an, what's an that? online video platform. Okay. We don't consider ourselves to be that, nor do we see companies that are in that space as competitors of ours. But it is a component that we can utilize together with our cloud-based transcoding, on-prem transcoding, tie them together with our APIs. And then we have 15 years of experience, and many of those great heads and minds are with our company. So we bring it together, and we can solve the problems of the enterprise working with them very closely. And my understanding is that today and tomorrow you guys are announcing some, some big news. You've just landed a new partner. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about, about who this new partner is or this new client and what you guys are doing for them? Absolutely. So we're, we're very pleased. Uh, it's a very big innovation in the media and entertainment space with a small little company called Technicolor. Uh, Technicolor, Thompson Multimedia, it's one large company. And Technicolor is a storied Hollywood company that's been around for since the beginnings of Hollywood. And... What Technicolor does, among other things, is they have, they're known as being the best when it comes to post-production and all the services that are around that. And Technicolor was looking to, to really take the dailies process, so production dailies, television shows, motion picture dailies, and bring them into the, the world of efficiencies that are brought by the internet. And I just want to clarify, dailies yeah. are, if you're shooting a TV show, this is the video footage that was shot that day that's then reviewed by editors. That's and correct. Okay. And what they need to do is you have people all over, they may be across town, they may be in other cities, they may be across the ocean. And it's been a very old fashioned process because of security, the needs for security, 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 because these are prized assets. Can't go out in the field. Mm -hmm. And, and what Technicolor wanted to do was to create great efficiencies, of course, in a very secure fashion by utilizing the power of the cloud and the internet. And that's what we, they came to us because uh, of the reputation we have and they've used our products before. And we built the first highly secure, um, what they call digital dailies process. So, and the name of it is ShareView. And so now you can capture the video on your set, motion picture, or television, shoot it up, send it across to anybody, a producer across town or anywhere they are, and they can watch it instantly on their iPad mm -hmm. and they can comment on it. Review and approval, send comments back. So now you have a process that rather than tens of hours or frequently more than that, 
that now you have something that's very instantaneous. So is this something, as far as people running around to deliver this video footage, I mean, have there not been other solutions, that, other cloud-based solutions that really try to offer secure video upload and then streaming or download mm -hmm. for, for the similar purposes? Because, I mean, video has obviously been a big part of the web for years now, and I'd imagine that this would be something the industry would have moved toward a while before now, yeah, right? Yeah. So why now, and are there other solutions out there that are doing something similar? The reason why it's taken this long is really the concern of, um, of security. Okay. It's all about security. So the first and foremost, Technicolor needed to create the most secure solution. There are other, there are other types of services that try to accomplish something along these lines, but not fully embracing the cloud, mm -hmm. and with no, nothing like the capabilities of the security that Technicolor is bringing to the table. And then you add not only the secure piece, but the qualitative piece and the flexibility to reach your iPhone, your iPad, and having, and having the kind of streams that we were talking about before with the highest quality because that's what we do as a company. We can, as far as making it accessible to, to any device. Whatever device, whatever platform it may be, and intelligently understanding what that device is and delivering the highest quality video. So that's what we do. Okay. For, and so for this partnership, uh, this is something that this is going to be a affecting the industry like broadly? Are there going to be a lot of movie studios that are, that are using this, that your platform alongside Technicolor or is this going to be sort of a, a trial basis? No, this is, they've already been in trial basis. Okay. And the appetite was, um, they, they started off small, getting the feedback from the various shoots that were using it and it's more, more, more. Okay. And so they're seeing great demand and quite frankly, because of the tragedies that's happening in, in Japan right now, the largest tape factory, you know, the, the actual tapes mm -hmm. um, that's used by Hollywood was in this, one of the cities in Japan that was literally wiped out. So the factory is gone. And so right now, um, Hollywood is very much in crisis just for production. And out of that, there's even more of an urgency right now to utilize the digital kind of processes because there's not another alternative. Or the alternative is under great demand right now mm -hmm. or, or great constraints right now. Mm -hmm. So this is, a, this is something that was, uh, the time was ready for it. Uh, now it's, it's even come more to the fore because of circumstances beyond everybody's control. But just the high level, absolutely, this is where it's all go going. Mm -hmm. it, it's the ability to not rely upon somebody running across town, but now I can see it wherever I am. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna free up the whole production process and make it much more efficient in, in a tremendous way. Right. Well, congratulations on the deal, and thank Thanks. you once again for stopping by TechCrunch TV. Well, it's and, great to uh, be here. I'm sure we'll hear from you shortly for other cool partnerships. Yeah. Thanks. Going on. Good to be Thanks here. Again. Appreciate it.